Hey there YouTube, Pixar Prime 10 here, and welcome to Mega May 2. That's right, last year in 2015, I did my first ever Mega May series, where in May, I did a month-long series of all videos themed Mega Man. That's right, the Blue Bomber, one of my favorite video game characters, if not my favorite video game character, right alongside Sonic the Hedgehog. The two blue dudes are kind of my favorite video game characters. And I had so much fun doing Mega Man last year, I absolutely had to come back and do it, and I have even more stuff ready to do it for this year. So here we are with the very start of Mega May 2. There's going to be more videos, more stuff, more fun, more excitement, and I cannot wait to get started. So we're going to get started right now with a video review of the Good Smile Company Nendoroid Mega Man figure. Now, now, last year, I didn't even review a Mega Man toy. I reviewed toys of Mega Man characters, but not of the guy himself. So, I figured this is a great way to start out. I always wanted this figure. It's an absolutely awesome-looking Mega Man figure. It's cute, it's posable, and so many different kind of things you can do with it. And I always wanted it, but it's really expensive, so I never thought I'd be able to get my hands on it, at least not for a long time. But one of my actual best friends in real life, as well as on YouTube, his channel name is That Classy Combine. His link will always be down in the description below, because him and my good friend, Mr. Monkey, who you probably have heard of, are doing all of the intros for Mega May, which is absolutely awesome. They rock. So go ahead and subscribe to their channels. The links will be down in the video description below. He actually bought this for me and I got it and I was like, oh, yes. Awesome. So as you can see, there's a five. Oh, and you can see the figures not actually in here and the, the yellow insert that's usually in there isn't in there either. I took the toy out. I, I don't I don't want to I want to prevent spoilers and I also just didn't feel like putting it back in the box. But you can see where everything would be in there. You have stuff all over the place. You have a big open window on the box here where you would see the figure. You got Japanese writing all over the place that I can't read. 556, five, I don't really know what that means. It says Mega Man down here. Really nice, really nice bold picture of the figure there. It looks really good. You got the Mega Man logo up there. You got the Good Smile Company logo up there. Good Smile Company is a figure that makes all these Nendoroid figures that look absolutely amazing. I want to get other figures like uh, Link and Kirby. Oh, uh, they also make a Sonic one. I want that one the most. Flip it around on the side here and you actually have some really awesome images here of the toy. You have Mega Man in his jumping pose, Mega Man holding an E-Tank, and you have a clear window here to see through to the toy that actually says Mega Man on there. Flip it on the back here, really nice and blue. You got Japanese all down here that I can't read, but you have awesome images of the toy up here. You have the figure you're here just holding his mega buster you have the figure here shooting a charge shot and then the figure taking his damage pose which that just shows you how much you can actually get this thing to look like the poses from the 8-bit games it's just it's so what you can do with it it's just so awesome flip it around on the other side here you have two more poses which we can see clear on the back another window Flip it around the bottom here, you can see 556 five, Mega Man, same charge shot pose, stuff we've seen before. This one's actually pretty cool, we haven't seen this one yet. This is running and gunning, that's really cool. I don't know what this 556 five, means, I would love to find that out. But that is the box for the figure, and I absolutely cannot wait to get out of the packaging. Well, it's out of the packaging. I absolutely cannot wait to show it to you guys, and Mega May 2 is already on a roll now. So, let's get the blue bomber out here right now. Alright guys, here we have the Nendoroid Mega Man figure with all of his accessories out here, and before I get to the actual guy himself, I'm going to really quickly run through all of his accessories and then talk about the main figure himself. So the first thing you can see here is this is a display stand for Mega Man. He has two little support beams, one of which is this tiny little one that will plug into the smaller holes in this stand, and the other one is this bigger one. This one is for holding up uh, blast shots to make it look like he's shooting things, and this one is to actually hold up Mega Man himself to make it look like he's jumping and stuff like that. So that, those are the stands. That's really cool. You, here we have a hand with an E-Tank on it, which you can actually detach to make a separate little E-Tank. To actually have the E-Tank by itself, which is really nice, and the hand just plugs right back onto there. We have two additional sets of legs. This is for jumping poses, uh, damage poses, so that's really cool. We have two additional faces. One is kind of a, I guess, a damage to fighting angry face. One is a damage, take, take and damage hurt face. And of course, he has the normal face on in the background there. We have a charge shot fire blast, which is really cool. We have the three classic Mega Man lemon pellet shots here. Of course, he can only shoot three at a time, which is really cool. We have, of course, the signature classic Mega Buster. We have an extra, I think this is an extra neck joint in case the one I guess you have breaks. This is just an extra. So that we're actually going to talk about that so I'm going to move it off to the side and then we have right here this is one of the most confusing parts about this figure it took me so long to get it down you have for his arms you have three separate different arms or six separate arms I should say three for each side now the two that are on him right now are normal relaxed arms that come down out of his shoulders and then you also have 
these two arms, which is the taking damage poses, so these would go in like this, and his arms would go out as if he's taking damage, and then these two are actually different shapes, and you would plug them in to have him shoot and hold his Mega Buster, like you could see in some of the pictures. And then we have a couple more hands, we have two fists, and we have another open hand. Now, the weird thing is, of course, you see a fist here, but he also has fists in right now. He does come with extra fists. I guess that's in case you break them. I don't really understand how you could break the fist, but yeah, he does come with extra fists. As you can see, they are completely identical. But, you know, kind of scooch that all in the background for now. Here we have the Mega Man figure, and all around, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. You guys can see it. It just looks so absolutely amazing. The paint, the detail on it, everything just looks so good on this guy. So as you can see here, we have the Mega Man face. This is, of course, he has three faces. This is kind of his calm, relaxed one. The eyes look super good. You got the blue and the painted detail in there. They look so animated. It's so great. Of course, this is a chibi style figure. That's what the Nendoroid figures are. They're all in chibi style, which is really cool. You have the classic Mega Man helmet with the blue stripe coming down and the little square there. His little red ears and, of course, his head's really nice and big. It's so freaking cute. His calm face there. Uh, you have his little blue torso here, and of course the classic blue color scheme from Mega Man. You have his little arms, his legs. Of course you have the red dots under his feet. Now the articulation for this guy isn't amazing. That's where the other joints come in. You actually have to replace some of the joints or the arms or ligaments to get Po other poses that you want. The articulation that he has, just basic though, is his head will go back and forth and it will turn, well it kind of, it will turn a full 360 degrees, but I feel some resistance that I don't want to break anything so I'm not going to turn it all the way, but it will go up and down. You can see that joint in there that I was talking about before. The arms actually only swivel, so the arms will go a full 360 degrees and you see that I like to pop out a little bit. That's one problem I kind of have, but that's the only rotation you will get. So it's not like they're on a ball joint where you can actually rotate it a lot. You And then the elbows will rotate full 360, as well as the wrists will full, rotate a full 360. Everything is on the same joint uh, unless you count the head and the hips, everything is on this kind of a joint. It just pegs in and kind of swivels around. The waist actually does rotate, so you get a little hip spin there, which is awesome. And the legs are on a, a very weird ball joint. I guess it's more of a universal joint, so they'll move forward and back, in and out. So it basically acts as a ball joint and no movement in the knee. So he's very limited on his articulation, but it's really because you're supposed to use the joints, the different ligaments to get his poses different, which I guess I'm. that's kind of cool. I really do like what you can actually do with it when you do replace them, but I would prefer if he had some actual really good articulation. But Whatever. I mean, it's just a few extra pieces, and it does look really good. Now, to kind of show you how you can replace some of the parts on him, everything kind of separates in its own fashion, so you can pull the arm off and then keep that little joint in there, and then you can push this little Mega Buster in here. I actually kind of like to take the whole arm off, plug this in like that. See, now you can hear that. Some of these are really tight, but then like the shoulders are actually really loose, so when you wiggle it, it just comes on out. I, I'm gonna have to put some clear nail polish on that. But now Mega Man has his Mega Buster, which is awesome. One thing I can't actually figure out is if I bring back the box. On the back of the box, you had Mega Man in lat pose, and you can kind of see his elbow goes out, and then the Mega Buster kind of curves up. I can't exactly get it to curve up like that, because with most of the, the other two arms, one of them is meant for firing, and the other one is meant for the damage pose. So this one kind of just goes out straight, and if you kind of rotate it around a little bit, it kind of does point up a little bit more, but I can't actually get it in the way in which it is in the box, which is kind of annoying. But, of course, you can have Mega Man with his Mega Buster and a fist. It doesn't come with two Mega Busters. I would love it if he could dual wield Unfortunately, he can't. Uh, if you really want to, you could have an open hand, or you could even have him holding an E-Tank, which is awesome. Of course, in Mega Man, E-Tanks heal your health. You, you click it and it just restores your health back to full, which is absolutely awesome. I really like this because you can actually detach it, and even though he has a hole on his hand, now he has an open hand, but you actually also have a little E-Tank to display with your Mega Man figures, which is absolutely awesome. So yeah, everything kind of separates in sections. You have the hands, the uh, I guess the forearms, and then the upper arm. So I guess lower arm and upper arm. And you can see that this is a little more stiff pegging in. And you actually do have to rotate this the right way or else it's not gonna look right. Kinda has to come forward. 
So to replace the actual, the, to replace the face on here, it actually, I don't like the way in which they handled it because I actually broke my figure my first time playing with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, well actually I'll put, I'll put the damage taken face on here first. So what you have to do is you kind of have to get your nail in here to kind of separate this section of the helmet. And you know, that's not really a big deal. It doesn't make me upset. It's kind of how other Mega Man figures have worked. So you kind of get the helmet open, but the thing is, I'm gonna try and explain it with my hands. Let's say that my left hand is the back section of Mega Man's helmet, and let's say that this section here is the front section. To get it on, you actually have to, it's its too small, so you have to push it on and then force it open a little bit to get it on like that. So you're ending up going like that. So you kind of have to do the same pulling it off. So the first time I ever did it, this earpiece actually snapped right off because there's not enough clearance to get it off. Maybe there's a certain way you're supposed to do it that I'm not doing it right, but you kind of have to you kind of have to do that. Now, what I when I say that, I kind of mean that you do have to get it over the face a little bit because as you can see, the ears do kind of block those ear pieces. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put the face in here and then slide it on like that. So, even though that's not specified in the instructions, yeah, what they actually tell you to do, I believe, is put the face in first, kind of slot it in there. And then they want you to put this helmet piece on, but when I tried to do that, I had to force it over his ears. And see, you can see, like, now I have to open it up a little bit, widen it up. My earpiece actually broke off. So I'm going to show you how to do it with a, to not break that. So what you want to do is you want to take your face, and as you can see, Mega Man has no head. And you can take his little helmet piece, kind of slot his head right in there. But that's even kind of hard to do because the ears still get in the way. So kind of keep it down like that so it kind of rests in his helmet, kind of make it sure it's all right. There's a slot in there, and there's a little peg section in here. You just kind of fit those together, and there's three holes and three pegs. Put them together like so. See, it's tricky to do it this way, but if you put the face in the helmet first, you're not going to break anything, which is always a good idea. So you kind of get that in there. You kind of push everything in. And there you go, Mega Man with a different face. So to actually do the thing that I was talking about with the damage pose, what I like to do is take that arm off. You... All the arms are marked with L's and R's. I, I can't even show you because they're really hard to see. Like this one, you can just barely make out an L. So that means it's for his left side. So we're going to stick that in there. And we're going to stick this in here. If I remove this, like so. It's actually really hard to tell which one's which. I might mark them myself actually really small with a black Sharpie left and right. Just to make sure I get it right. One thing that I do actually want to point out to you guys real fast, like, is that actually on the pieces, I'm just now noticing this, on the pegs, it does really small say L3. I thought I had to read it on this piece, this flat piece here where the peg comes out of, and on some of them it does say, but it's really hard to read, but nope, it's really nice and simple right there. You got L3, and then if I take another piece here, you got L1, so you got L1, L2, 2, L3, and then R1, R2, R3 for right 1, 2, 3, and left 1, 2, 3. So that's how you can actually identify which limb is which. But as you can see, uh, even these arms aren't molded exactly the same. This one kind of angles down more, but you can just take this and put his arm in like that. And if you're a Mega Man fan, you absolutely know which pose this is supposed to be. This is a uh, Whenever you get hit in the game, whenever you get hurt, Mega Man kind of flinches up like this. And it's awesome because in Smash Brothers, you guys know I love that game. Probably my favorite video game, the version for Wii U. Mega Man is my main. So whenever he gets hit, he actually does this pose. So he, the 8-bit poses, poses are all pulled directly from the 8-bit games, which is awesome. So you have that like that, but you're not really finished yet. So you can actually pop out the legs. So we're going to pop out the normal standing legs, and we're going to take these legs and I do believe that this is the left this is the right leg so that one goes in there one thing that's actually really interesting is they all have little smiley faces on there for the good smile logo which I find very interesting that's the wrong leg so these legs are kind of arched a little bit so you can kind of go like that and now you kind of have Mega Man as if he's getting hurt or he kind of puts his head forward a little bit so it's like Oh, which is this is just absolutely awesome. I won't display him like this. I want something more action pose like but this is the fact that you can do this is just really cool. So what you can do is there's a hole in Mega Man's back. I actually forgot to mention the great detail in the helmet back there and you can take the small end which what's really weird is that this piece pops off. I don't really know why. It doesn't specify in the instructions. Uh, if someone wants to tell me in the comments below what that does, I'd love that. You just plug that into his back, and you find one of the bigger holes on this stand here. As you can see, well, you can't really tell. Some are bigger, some are smaller. You just find one of the bigger ones, and you plug that in like that. And then you actually have Mega Man as if he's getting hurt or damaged, which is 
absolutely awesome. He's in midair, and with my white board here, it kind of does look like he's floating, which is absolutely awesome. So we're just gonna yank him off there. I really love that. That's just one of the many poses you can do. Something else that we can do is we can take the helmet off. Uh, in case you're wondering, the way I did fix this little earpiece is I put a little drop of crazy glue. I put it back in the way it was supposed to. There was like a little notch that lined up with the uh, helmet piece. So I did that and it luckily it hasn't fallen back out yet which is awesome so i'm just going to be really careful with it and i really hope it does not break again we'll take the mega buster and put this one out like that have him aiming his head and then have his hand up like this and and then this is kind of like mega man's jumping pose it's not exact this one kind of comes down more this one goes like this so you can go like this and this is this is actually pretty close i think i got it pretty good and you just plug them right into there. And then what you can do is I'll actually show this to you now. This bit is for his uh, firing mechanism things. So this is actually on a joint here. And then it has a ball point here and a ball joint there. And then you can plug this into either this one or the charge shot. There's two holes in the bottom. I'm going to use the three pellets. And then you just plug that into there. This is something that I wish the D-Arts figure came with. If you remember my review of that a really long time. Well, not that long ago. Just about a year ago, I think. Uh... It did not come with this. It didn't come even come with a stand. You had to plug it into his gun, which kind of didn't work all that well because it kind of would fall out a little bit. And I, I actually, well, I actually looks really cool now that I think about it. It was, I was gonna say, I don't like the way he's angled down, but that looks really cool. And you can just see like, like that. That looks absolutely awesome. And I abs, I, I might display him like this because this looks so cool. But just, you can just see the amount of poses you can get with this guy, even though his articulation isn't great. You might have to swap out a couple pieces, but it just looks so freaking fantastic. And then one thing that I love to do is you can do this and then go like that. We're actually going to take him off the stand real quick. And just to show you, oh, well, actually, I guess for the, uh, the jumping pose, it should have been like this. So I was actually using the wrong arm bit for the right arm, but this would be his jumping pose from the game. I didn't really do it perfectly, but the fact that they give you the uh, options to kind of recreate the poses, move like joint for joint, I guess, from the 8-bit poses is absolutely awesome. You can really kind of do whatever you want, and I think that is just awesome. Now, the only set of arms that I actually haven't showed you yet is the ones for firing the gun. So we're gonna put these all in the back and it's kind of up to you to figure out which one's for which. Hopefully my video will help you figure it out but the instructions don't really help. What I kind of remember is they're really curved. So this one has this little curvature in here and this one has this one in here. This one is for the right. So this one will actually have the Mega Buster on it. And you can tell that the end that doesn't go into the shoulder and all these arm bits is the bit with the little fat lip down here. So we can take this and Plug that into there. And what this is actually going to... Oh, I'm sorry. I messed up. A little left end will go into the Mega Buster. So, wiggle that on there. And what this will actually do is this will put the Mega Buster right in front of Mega Man's body. And then if we take the open hand right here... I actually think that they should include extra forearm bits because then you wouldn't have to switch stuff as much. But this end is going to plug into here. And then we're going to plug this onto Mega Man. And what this is actually going to do is it's going to put his arm right in front of him. And then we're actually going to have the Mega Buster right in front of him. And I'm not going to swap the legs, actually. Eh, well, I'll swap one of them. And we will put this one back in here. Because he's doing a charge shot, you know, he might be uh, being blown back a lot because of the absolute power of what he's shooting out of his gun. I didn't really do too good of a job of it, but I like to do this a lot. This is something that I actually really like. This is a pose that I came up with that I really like. He charged up and then jumped up in the air and he kind of shot the charge shot back. I really like that. I really love how they give you the option for him to hold the Mega Buster in his hand. That just looks absolutely friggin' awesome. And the amount of combinations you can do with the different pellets and putting able to put him up on the stand, putting the charge shots on the stand, the different poses you can do with him. It's just, it's, it's all fantastic and it all just looks so freaking good good so i will actually get him off the stand now the legs are kind of angled at a weird way so when you plug them in you have to kind of put them at an angle so that you can get them to kind of i guess stand properly and then one thing you can't really do is you i guess you can't really get them on his legs uh, and oh by the way you can put the mega buster on either side it doesn't really matter but i prefer it on the left side it's what it's meant for you can't really get him on his hands and knees which is something i would love to do because you could totally like have him battle damage but that right there just looks absolutely awesome <laughs> that's really cute i'm uh, reading the side of the box right now there's a little blurb that says cute to look at fun to play with and great to collect it's so true they're adorable they're really fun to play with i'm having a blast and they're absolutely great to collect and i think this image right here just 
can sum up this toy. This looks absolutely cool. All right, so here next to the Nendoroid Mega Man figure, I actually have the D-Arts Mega Man figure. So this isn't really any specific style of Mega Man. This is more based off of his look from Mega Man 8 and I guess onward kind of, not really. This is kind of just classic. They're both classic Mega Man, but this is just like classic. It, this, this one literally looks like you took the 8-bit version as if it wasn't 8-bit and just 3D-ified it. I don't really know how to describe it, but that's... Uh, now that I think about it, as much as this figure is totally like classic Mega Man style, what this absolutely reminds me of is the art style from Mega Man Powered Up. Mega Man Powered Up was a remake of Mega Man 1 for PSP, where the whole game was in this chibi art style, and even though this isn't like based on that 100%, this absolutely just makes me think of that game, and it basically looks just like how it did in Mega Man Powered Up. And I really like that game, I really like its art style, so I think this is really cool, even though it's not directly trying to be from that game but that's honestly what this uh what that one looks like to me because this one you can just this one you could achieve the eight bit poses pretty well this one you can just do it so perfectly i actually wish this stand had like a clip that i could put around his waist and make him jump in the air then i could actually use this for him and then pew 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 but you can see uh the similarities are so evident you have the big boots you have the big you know the big legs the the purple crotch area you know the mega buster and the arms are the same colors the same color helmet it, the, everything's the same even down to the face it even looks really similar but this right here looks absolutely awesome these guys are going to look awesome going side by self on my mega man oh well right now on my video game figure shelf but i might actually make a just mega man shelf because i do have enough stuff for that but there you go there's a little comparison for the d arts mega man next to the nendor figure is out of this world. It was everything I hoped it would be. You know, the helmet kind of broke really easily, and there are, you know, these joints do kind of, if I just kind of go like that, they pop right out. But it's not all of them. It's only kind of like these shoulders, I guess. And I, I'm sure if I kind of apply some clear nail polish to those joints, it's not going to come out as easily. And as a whole, I love this figure. As a Mega Man fan, it's beautiful. It's everything I wanted it to be. And I love it. The only thing I wish they would just do on a Mega Man figure is I wish I could pop this helmet piece off and pop in a hair piece. Because there's so many times in Mega Man games where he just had his hair out and he didn't have his helmet on. I would love that. That would be cool. But as it is, this figure, absolutely incredible. If you're a Mega Man fan, you have to get it. And I absolutely recommend that you guys get it. Well, that's about going to wrap it up for the video review of the Good Smile Company Nendoroid Mega Man figure. And for the first video of Mega May. Too. I've been waiting to do this for a little while now. I've been planning it. I knew it was going to be fun. I knew it was going to be awesome. It started now. It's going to be even more fantastic than last year, guys. I hope you enjoyed last year because it's going to be even better this year. Stay tuned. I'm back, baby. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Who would totally know that I was going to do Mega Man 2 if you follow me on Twitter? I was putting out so many updates about myself these past couple months on Twitter just to you guys on YouTube. So please follow me on Twitter. There's so many updates. So please. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter to keep up with me and see what I'm doing. Thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Mega May videos coming soon. Have yourselves a great day. I'll see you soon with more Mega May.